Renault has not been much of a newsmaker in the recent months, but their lineup is still growing and gradually evolving into a more technological version of itself. Today we'll cover all the upgraded and new models by Renault and their sports car offshoot Alpine. So subscribe to Automotive Territory Daily News and enjoy French automotive sophistication. We start the engines now. Renault Clio New inside and out, boasted with modern tech and available in an array of powertrains, the 2024 Clio gives potential buyers plenty of options to ponder over their ideal configuration. Exterior-wise, the biggest update is the new front end that features a much wider grille with checkered pattern and slim LED lighting signature. There are also significantly bigger air intakes and vertical DRLs that flow down into the lower bumper. In addition to the fresh face, Renault boosts the cabin with better quality materials, a 7-inch digital cluster and a 9.3-inch infotainment. Pricier trims can be also optioned with a new 10-inch edgeless instrument display. Depending on the market, the new Clio can be propelled by either a 64 or 89 horsepower gasoline unit, a 1.2-liter inline 3 LPG, a 99 horsepower diesel, and a 1.6-liter E-Tac hybrid with 145 HP. Alpine A110R Designed to be a track version of the A110S, the R focuses on delivering a sharper, sportier ride while remaining comfortable enough to act as a road car. Thanks to several unique mods, the car drops 75 pounds of weight. Its bodywork was revised to improve downforce and reduce drag, so the R gets a new model-specific bonnet, diffuser and rear window. The wheels wear more aggressive Michelin Pilot Sport Cup 2 tires, while the suspension becomes stiffer and can be adjusted to increase the car's clearance by 0.4 inches. The engine is the familiar 1.8-liter turbo 4, paired with a tweaked exhaust. Its racing treatment is complemented by the new cabin design that adopts carbon fiber bucket seats, six-point racing harnesses from Zabelt, and a suede steering wheel. Finally, 32 buyers will be able to get an exclusive 110R Fernando Alonso edition wrapped in racing matte blue paint. Renault eSpace The eSpace has been a popular minivan in Europe since 1984, but its sixth generation severs all ties with the original and arrives as a fully fledged seven seat crossover. It is based on the Austral CUV and is 5.5 inches shorter and 474 pounds lighter than its predecessor. Accessible via a power tailgate, the cargo area ranges from 160 to 1816 liters, depending on the seat configuration and there is also an option for a massive glass roof to make the cabin feel more spacious. The eSpace is available with a turbocharged 1.3-liter gasoline engine as a full hybrid with a pair of electric motors, producing a combined 199 HP. It boasts rear-wheel steering to reduce the turning circle to 10.4 meters and has a more sophisticated multi-link rear suspension. Wheel size ranges between 19 and 20 inches, and even the cheapest trim has a 12.3-inch digital instrument cluster and a 12-inch touchscreen. But the 9.3-inch head-up display costs extra. If you want to watch more videos about French cars, do not hesitate to encourage us by smashing the like button. Thank you, and let's keep rolling. Renault Forever Trophy This concept from the 2022 Paris Motor Show pays homage to the Renault 4, one of the original young-timer vintage cars. The showpiece has a muscular exterior with prominent bonnets and bumper, rear trapezoidal side windows with rounded corners, a wide horizontal grille featuring round built-in lamps with matrix LED lights, and recognizable pill-shaped rear lights, which are a clear nod to the iconic 4. The car has been designed on the CMF BV platform that can venture off the beaten track. Each wheel on the Forever Trophy has a visible compressor that can be readily adjusted from inside the car to adapt the tire pressure to suit the terrain. Renault is unlikely to transfer these design choices and features to the production model anytime soon, 
but the Nouvelle Vague approach is likely to pave the way for the future all-electric B-segment SUVs of the brand. Alpine A110 Sanremo 73 The new heritage-inspired Sanremo 73 follows in the footsteps of the last year's A110 Tour de Corsa 75. Limited to 200 units, the new model celebrates the 50th anniversary of the original Alpine A110's victory in the WRC Sanremo Rally. It wears unique caddy blue paintwork with black and white graphics, Sanremo 73 lettering and a red carbon roof. The wheels are 18-inch Grand Prix alloys in white that house Brembo brake calipers. The car's usual 1.8-liter four-cylinder promises 300 horses and comes paired with a new active exhaust that returns a more visceral sound. Finally, the interior house's racing bucket seats gets a microfiber trim and features World Champion 73 embroidery. Renault Megane RS Ultimate This is the last ever gasoline-powered hot hatch from Renault that also says farewell to Renault Sport Division, now renamed N2 Alpine Cars. Limited to 1,976 units worldwide, the Ultimate takes the already hardcore RS Trophy as its base and boosts it with the new visual tweaks. Special graphics are found on the hood, roof, side and rear bumper. The performance hatch also gets the 1976 right-hand side striping and additional black body accents on the door handles, side mirrors, window frames and rear diffuser. The RS Ultimate rides on Fuji light 19-inch wheels shot in the track-focused Bridgestone Potenza rubber. Mechanically, the Ultimate is identical to the RS Trophy, which means that under its hood lies a turbocharged 1.8-liter four-cylinder good for 300 horsepower and 309 pound-feet of torque. Renault Scenic Vision One way to restore the popularity of slow-selling car models is to turn them into SUVs. Therefore, the Scenic that once was a compact MPV is being transformed by the French Renault into a crossover EV with chiseled exterior lines and a closed-off grill. The Scenic Vision has an illuminated Renault badge, attractive LED headlights, and new 21-inch wheels. Most likely, the production version of this newcomer will get a purely electric powertrain, but for now, the French are playing around with the hybrid hydrogen electric system. It consists of an electric motor making 218 HP, a 40 kWh battery, and a 16 kW fuel cell acting as a range extender. In a popular fashion, the interior uses recycled materials and eco-friendly carbon fiber. Furthermore, up to 95% of the components are claimed to be recyclable. Interestingly, the forward vision of this concept implies a futuristic cabin with ergo seats, a yoke-style steering wheel, individual audio for each passenger, and health monitoring for the driver. Renault Kangoo E-Tech In 25 years on the market, the Kangoo van has been sold to 50 countries in the amount of 4.4 million units. The electric version of the van drops the ZE moniker and now becomes a member of the E-Tech family of vehicles. It comes with a 45 kWh lithium-ion battery, providing a range of up to 180 miles 285 km on a single charge, and a 121 horsepower motor that delivers 180 pound-feet, 245 Nm of torque. The van is designed to provide the same practical features, safety and comfort as the combustion version, but with the added benefit of zero emissions. The Kango e -Tech Electric also comes with innovative roof bars that can be adjusted without tools. There are 14 driver assistance systems and a dual-zone air conditioning system powered by a heat pump to optimize range all year. The vehicle is equipped with two charging systems, an 11 kW three-phase AC charger for household use and an 80 kW DC charger that can recover 170 km in approximately 30 minutes.
Alpine A110 at her need. As Alpine moves to become an all-electric brand in the nearest future, the company engineers and designers present the EV version of the current A110 sports car. Basically a sample work summarizing their progress, the Atronit adopts battery tech from the Megane E-Tech, achieves near-perfect weight distribution and becomes 568 pounds heavier than the regular A110. The car offers 260 miles of driving range, speeds to 60 in 4.5 seconds and comes powered by a single electric motor with an innovative 2-speed DCT. This motor returns 242 horses and 221 pound-feet, allowing the Atronit to hit 155 mph top speed. Created to celebrate the brand's anniversary, the concept car has a removable roof and uses environmentally friendly materials. Did you find Renault's lineup of 2023 and beyond impressive enough to add them to your shopping list? I would like to hear you out in the comments below. Smash the like button and proceed to exploring other car models of the upcoming car season. Subscribe to Automotive Territory Daily News, ring the bell, and as always, may the torque be with you!